Tell you about record low mortgage rates, but is it the right time to buy or should you be renting? Well, it depends on your situation. And joining us to help sort it all out is CEO and Chairman of Prudential Fox and Roach Realtor, uh, Larry Flick. Larry, thanks for being here. Hi, Tracy. Me. Good to see you. So it is an incredible time to buy right now, right? It's a great time to buy. It's a buyer's market. Yeah, rates are incredible. So let's go over the, the reasons why it's a good time to buy. Let's okay, talk okay. Uh, record, record low mortgage rates. What were you just telling me that they are right now? Four and a quarter, four and a half percent. And you know, a year ago, we thought five and a half percent was cheap. And so that's the bottom. And it's a buyer's market. There's a lot out there. It's a buyer's market. Their sellers are flexible. Prices are off their peaks. And there's a great selection. Now, buying a home is also a good long-term investment. But I think the key word there is long-term because I think a lot of people got into trouble when they invested as a short-term. Let's flip it and make some money prior to the crash. You're right. Um, houses are not a good short-term investment. I mean, this is not something you flip overnight, although some people made that mistake, particularly in Florida. Right. If you look at the Philadelphia marketplace over the last 10 years, the average home appreciation has been 91%. That's pretty good. Yeah, compared yeah. to the stock market, it's off 22 percent S and P. It's a it's a better place to put your money for sure. I think so. So it's a great time, but not everybody can buy a home right now. So when should you be looking at renting for a while? I think there are two important times to be thinking about renting. The first is if you're going to be in a home short term, as we said a few minutes, a few seconds ago. Um, you probably should be in a house four or five years before it's going to be worth the investment. Uh, most people live in a house seven or eight years, so take a long-term horizon. The second is if you're not secure about your financial situation. So weak credit, not enough cash, concerned about your job, where you've got a lot of credit card debt. So for those people, at the time would be to repair their credit, get ready, and as soon as you can, then buy a house. Save your money, and then, and then, and then look to buying a house. Great. Thank you so much.